Hello my soccer universe. Well, with the next international break just around the corner, I thought I'd show you my European national teams. And fortunately, if you're regular to my channel, you know that I did uh, back then uh, in the September national break, I did a video where I kind of switched the hangers of my European national teams to so that they're hanging normally. And I said, well, if there are enough feedback and enough likes on it, I will release the entire unedited video. Well, I may, may not have necessarily gotten the necessarily uh, the likes and the comments that I said in there. However, I think I got enough positive feedback that I thought maybe I should release it because I talk about almost literally every jersey that I've shown you in this video uh, and give you quite some feedback on it that might be interesting for you to watch. Yes, it is a long video. I Just a few notes. There is a... I will again cut the first few minutes where I just uh, explained, you can see this in the original video, how I'm hanging my shirt. So I will start right off when I start with the Austria shirt. B. Uh, it is unedited. However, I cut out the part. Uh, I think I'm leaving for one point at one point for about a minute. The room, that of course is cut. Uh, there's also, I think, two or three occasions uh, where the sound for some reason was going out. I have this issue with my phone that if I make a pause in my talking for way too long or I talk too softly or whatever, uh, there is a, a little static before it goes on. Um, I will probably leave this in uh, because, you know, you don't need to see me cutting and then uh, it, it, it's basically a two second cut. That doesn't make uh, the video worse. Uh, I have not decided yet, maybe during editing I might add some music under. Let's see about that. So, yeah. Um, and if you have seen the original video, I'm very happy to present to you. I have additional hangers so that problem is solved as well i have enough to store everywhere so without further ado please enjoy all my european shirts i will say let's get started the first nation that we have is a which is austria my very first austria shirt it was like the 2004 5 i want to say this is and it hangs on a new hanger and now this was the last spare hanger that I had here and now we open up the first now well, I have one more spare for my second Aust my second oldest Austria shirt it's not the second one that I ever got but this is this 2006 so I got go not how I got it but uh, what the season this is a 2006 or 7 away jersey player issue like the Italy jersey that won the World Cup uh, it's a very very nice one even with player issue lettering on the back and then now I really need to go forward with um, opening up a pack of hangers let's get it open and do so next set we are gonna have now this is my most damaged Austria jersey I got this for uh, the euros and I made a video how I fixed it it just didn't work I have I know I now have the idea I got it from Idris I should turn it inside out it's of course with a big jersey file but it's the logos that uh, come uh, are coming off and the lettering is not the official lettering I this is one that is a prime candidate for getting replaced because I don't necessarily need it with my name and number on there same actually goes for the away jersey that i have here but here this is a little bit better although the lettering is still off but yeah uh this has been for a long time and still in a way is my favorite austrian jersey uh i don't like the gold but i like the austrian flag down the collar now my go-to jersey when I go into the stadium, at least the last time I was, and this was in 2014, has been a lot, has been a while, Euro qualifying, but I have been going when I was living in Vienna, I was going regularly 
is this one here from 1213. I bought it actually for the Austria-Sweden match in the 2014 World Cup qualifiers. Um, love it. I mean, this is a really nice one, I have to say. And then the youngest one is this beautiful one from Euro 2016. Also, the women did very well with it in 2017. That's probably my second favorite Austria shirt that I have. Okay, next up, Belgium, B, I don't have any other A's so far, Albania, yep. I have kind of this distant goal to get from all Europe, I, I don't want to have from every country in the uh, world necessarily, but I want to have all European nations. So Albania and Armenia and all those should be there, but will not be Belgium, recently acquired, I, I, actually I love this a whole lot from Euro 2000. Uh, we have here the next one, that's the from the 18 World Cup, very nice shirt, so it goes. My first Bulgaria shirt has a similar issue with the Pumas, uh, the funny thing is that I think it was my first beach vacation in Bulgaria, I, was, I just got married to my wife. And if you know me, I have either white skin or red skin. And so again, I burnt very, very quickly. And then for the rest of the time, I was going to the sea wearing this jer jersey. So this is Black Sea Christian, if you like. Then recently I got this beautiful Bulgaria jersey. This is, I think, two years or three years ago. Two years ago. It was on sale. I absolutely love it from 1617. Uh, it still has the old logo, it has the new logo. This one I don't care about, this one I care how, about a whole lot. I love the flag trim. The gold, I wasn't initially not sure, but I now I absolutely love to have it one, and even the red on the sides. And then uh, I always wanted to have a red Bulgaria wager jersey, and you know I already have it here on the hanger. So they, those are my Bulgaria shirts for now. Going further on, we go to the letter C. I have for now only one Croatia shirt. It's an away jersey that I really like. I am more and more am of the opinion I need to get a checkered Croatia shirt. And I think should Croatia qualify for the next World Cup, I will definitely get one. I bought this one du during the 2018 World Cup because I always like the away jerseys more. Not necessarily this design, I think I like the one with the one on the side. Or they had ones with the striker pattern, but it's a very nice jersey, and this is player issue, so this makes it very, very special. Uh, my only Czech jersey, I wish I had the one from 2006, but I have the one from 2008. It's all about the crest. I don't like whatever they came up since uh, Euro 2012. So, yeah, this is it's very basic, but it does the job and it's still very nice. and. For Euro 2008, this is another one of those small collections that I wanna have. Now, we are 10 down, I need to open another one and then we already go to the letter D, where I have two very recent shirts that I can show you. So, the next batch of 10. so there's not much room that I have. So we have here the long sleeve Denmark shirt. I got it this year for the Euros. And then I realized during the Euros it's quite warm. I need to get a short sleeve as well. So this is the one with Ericsson. And I mean, this fit perfectly for, the, for these Euros, given all the drama that we had around Ericsson. And then of course, I, as you saw yesterday, the unpacking video, I got this beautiful red jersey. Although I didn't like it initially, it has grown on me a whole lot. It's of course plain. So I have now a long sleeve and a short sleeve Denmark shirt. We are skipping to the now. We're not skipping. We're going to the next letter. E. England. The first one is this England away jersey. For me, England should only have a red away jersey. I was about, almost about to get the black one from 2012. Uh, but ultimately decided I will get another white one. I will show you in a sec. But uh, this one is just so classic, 66 inspired, had to be just this. 
Did I hang this now wrong? Of course I did. That's the other thing, if you hang, if you put the hangers, make sure they all hang the same direction because otherwise it gets a mess. So this is the one I got during the Euros when I saw I need probably a second English jersey. This is the first Nike jersey. I still think this is Nike's best work for England, the 150 year uh, jersey. It's, I have to say this is one's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I am very happy to have it. I'm messing up because I'm this way I have to hang it. It has a few pulls, but don't care. For that price, I don't care. And after the last World, World Cup, when I actually had a very soft spot for England, I got their jersey for half price. And I have to say, I also like this one quite some. It's two different kinds, and I think I'm quite set with England shirts. Maybe a blue one or a black one. Uh, just to add on. We are going to the next letter, Finland. I have one Finland jersey. This is 1213 away shirt. I want to have the current home shirt. That one looks really nice. Well, even the previous one was very nice. But this one is absolutely a beauty. Uh, this one is rather basic, but it's a long sleeve. And it actually is very nice. I have to say Adidas long sleeves. I have most of my long sleeves, and that's another video idea. Are Adidas long sleeves? They actually are quite well done. I still have yet to get, I think, a Nike long sleeve. Uh, F, of course, the World Champions France. This is my first ever France jersey, the '96 one. When I got this, I thought this is the most beautiful jersey ever produced. I've gone back a little bit on that, but I still I am very much uh, in favor of this shade of blue. For France, although I do like the navy, don't get me wrong, but and I also know it's a proper color, mean mineral, because the French flag can come in two variants. I keep repeating it, but still, this one, especially the drawstrings, are nice. I'm not so sure about the thing is coming down here. Um, yes, we have another one. I have to go by. I have, of course, the 98 one is hanging here. This will now get a new hanger. This hangs on the wall right where the camera is. I also have the 2000 one, but I can tell you a little secret. I sent it to a fellow collector who said he can have it fixed for me because the number for the sedan was a little bit broken. So yeah, I'm quite, I'm curious if and how this can be fixed but i am very willing i was very willing to try that then we have a little bit gap in france the next one is the 2010 this was one of the two best shirts at the 2010 world cup in my opinion it's a long sleeve again an adidas one you will see the other best one because i have them both um let's put that way the other one did a whole lot better in the world cup i still love i I love this France jersey. Uh, it's my only France away jersey for now, which is a bit of a shame because I think France had really nice away jerseys over the years. I had a fake of the 2006 away. That is a replacement jersey waiting to happen. So far you only saw Adidas. I have of course the latest two France home jerseys. I have to say the current one is actually not that bad. The current away jersey is just a little bit boring. I think I'm waiting for something a little bit more exciting. That's the one that won the World Cup in one star. I, bought, I have to keep continuing just to tell the story. I bought this ahead of the World Cup for half price. Turned out to be the winning jersey. And the, uh, this was, <laughs> as I remember, at the World Cup. I told my wife, this is the only jersey I really want to have. Of course I got more. Of course I got more, but this was then late in the tournament. But at that, at that time, I was still doing kind of fine. Uh, I was not as crazy. And now we have the new, the current France jersey, which... Take your pick which one you like better. Uh, this is maybe a little bit more common because I won the World Cup. I actually love that there's some red on this one and also it has... Uh, I keep repeating, this combines all the France jerseys that Nike ever did and probably even some of the Adidas style in one. That's why I love it and it has two stars. But they sucked at the Euros. Uh, let's say they imploded 
by themselves. So Frost is in the books. FG, so we go to Germany and we have to. This works very nicely so far. I have to open another one. And then we look at Germany. For Germany, I had the fake for it. I mean, the one German jersey that I always wanted to have. The moment I saw it, and I really regret that the one time I didn't buy it when I had the option for getting for 30. I thought this is too expensive. This is, of course, the 2018 away shirt. And then I found a fake, and I have not seen it for a good price ever since. This is a German jersey I really like. I also like the 2012 away. I have all the home jerseys. We have the 2010, which very nice. I like this off-center stripe. Maybe I would have liked to have a Germany jer jersey where we have the crest on a white backing. Both that I have do not have this, unfortunately. However, I have to say for 10 bucks, I, and this was, I think this was probably the first Germany shirt that I ever saw where I said, actually this looks quite Adidas has a really done, done, done a really good job. I like that the German flag for once was put subtle. Of course, there's a German flag here as well on the sleeve curves, but it's kind of hidden away. Uh, for the next World Cup, they did something a little bit more loud. I have to say, this design has grown a whole lot on me. And I was actually so, so surprised that they have not repeated it uh, as a new look. I really gotta say, for a modern look, this could very well be the modern Germany. I, I I hated it when I first saw it and then the more I think about it, I actually think this would be such a strong look. Um, because, you know, the Germany look, although it's black and white, it's not that great of an overall look. Then we have Greece, Euro 2004, not the white one that they won it in, but same. They won the opener and I think a semi-final. I think they won, they wore this, this one every other game. I uh, got this from Yanis. He gave it to me for a very cheap price and I'm very happy to have sort of a Greece jersey. I think I want to have the 2012 home and I think the 18 home jersey, the blue one, is also really nice. Let's go to H. Where is Hungary from the this Euros? Uh, this jersey wears quite well. I have been giving Adidas quite some stick for not being very inventive, but I have to say, material-wise, when you wear this, this is a very nice jersey. It feels very well when you wear it. So, um, kudos Adidas, you're doing at least something, right? And then we are at I. We will have a lot of jerseys at I. We, of course, start with Iceland. This was kind of a replacement shirt. I had a fake of the 2016. We still have it, but my little daughter took it. She's kind of wearing it as a nightgown here and there, which I find cute because it's still a beautiful jersey, but in the collection I only can have official stuff. So it's the 18 away, which kind of with this fire and ice idea, kind of nice. Then we have Ireland. I always wanted to have Ireland for a long time, but I didn't want to have one with sponsors. So I got a player issue from Euro 2016. It is an L. It is kind of tight, but it is a beautiful shirt. An absolute beautiful shirt. Um, very happy to have this one. As I said, for Ireland, I could not accept having a sponsor on my national team shirt, so I always had to get a player version. And I think once they got this cheap, this was, I think, a... Um, it was a Valentine's gift for me, I want to say in 2018. Now, I, of course, is current European champions Italy, which of course is also my first ever shirt. A beautiful Italy 1990 player version, which I didn't realize until, I, I want to say, uh, five years ago or, so, or something. I always thought I have this one. That it's uh, uh, the, the most authentic thing that, that one can ever have. Yeah, it took a beating. You've seen this shirt a whole lot. This is still my favorite shirt. And when I saw that it got a beating, then I said it's time for another Italy shirt. And I saw the 2002 one on sale in double XL, but it's tight, so it actually fits quite nicely. Kind of a different Italy. There's a, there's a, uh, almost a, a more than a decade between those two. 
I had a fake of the 2006, but now we have more modern ones. I never really liked this new crest. I got used to this shirt. I know some still don't like it. I don't like the lettering on it, but I had to get it because this Italy team really... Uh, I really enjoyed watching them during those Euros. Unfortunately, they didn't win it. In fact, they actually got completely annihilated by Spain. But I have Pirlo, my favorite player, although at that time he was already at Juventus. And very recently I got the corresponding away shirt as well. And now we have to meet Italy, we have to open another box again. So here we have Italy. I have 20 more to go. Should work. Should work. Otherwise I have a few spares over there as well, but I think this will work just fine. My other problem, to be honest, is that I am slowly, slowly running out of space for hanging jerseys properly. I think the next point is I have three or four three suits and most of them I don't even wear. So I'm thinking of selling a few because that will open up a whole lot of space. Next Italy shirt. This beautiful uh, 2000. 14-15 home shirt in long sleeve. They did not perform well at the World Cup, but I saw them play exactly in this shirt and some of them were long sleeve on a rainy night in Sofia in Bulgaria. So that's why this is. And then we come, not necessarily to the crunch rule, because the crunch rule is of course a 1990 shirt, but the recent ones, which are really nice, new crest. I have the Renaissance shirt. Another one of those that I had to learn to love because at first Italy in green, but then I saw, okay, historic press and so on. It's a really nice shirt. It's a really nice shirt. So, can't deny that. Then the away jersey that they didn't wear at the Euros, still not happy about that. It's a beautiful shirt. And then, Maybe my second, meanwhile, my second most favorite Italy shirt, which is of course the one that won the Euros. Again, I got it last Christmas and it was around 50 from Amazon. My wife got it. Now you have to pay crazy money to get, to get it. I'm thinking of buying some patches and adding them on there. So yeah, that is I. J, I don't have anything. K, I don't have anything. We go straight to L. And L, I have only one shirt, and this is another blue one that I'm very happy that I have it. Liechtenstein got it last year. Uh, as I'm recording, it's pretty much year to the day that I got this one. I want to say I love it. I have a Liechtenstein shirt. I bought it in Liechtenstein, directly below this castle that's on the shirt. So, uh, doesn't get better than that. We go to N and for N we are at the Netherlands. Yes, I don't count. I uh, say the Netherlands, not Holland. For Holland is only a small part of the Netherlands. And the most popular though, we have the 98 one. I really would like to have one. The 92 would be ideal. 94. And one of those Lotto ones I would love to have. Of course, I like the, the 1988, but I think of achievable shirts, I rather go for the Lotto ones. Uh, but I have a whole lot with this uh, crest at Nike Injury. This was my first Netherlands jersey for the two, 2004, because they always had some black in there under Nike. And I really did, they didn't like that. So when in 2004, they finally had some white on there, I said, okay, I've been a Netherlands fan for, at that time, yeah, since 1990, so 14 years, and I don't have a proper Dutch jersey. And this was turned out to be my first one. And I have to say, I totally love this template even. So, uh, great jersey, and I again hung this wrong. Or, oh, yes, I hung this wrong, so here you go. Now, uh, from 2006, I would, have lo I would love to have the away shirt. I need a white. I need a white Netherlands jersey, actually two types, the, the 2006 away I absolutely love and then I would like to have one with white and orange 
And then I also would like to have a blue one, and it's either from the 98 World Cup or from the 2014 World Cup. This one I have double. That's of course now with Schneider. You saw the unpacking video uh, from Euro 2 to 2008. Great Dutch jersey, I have to say. Um, for 2010, I initially was not very excited that they came out with this one, but then they came to the World Cup final, so I needed to have this one. It took me only 10 years to get it. Then I had the number on there, I washed it once and Schneider came off, but I have it ghosted here, so that's also kind of interesting, I have to say. We have two more Dutch jerseys to go. 2012 was not a great year for the Dutch national team. However, they came out with this black beauty. I think the current one I like even better. But I remember my wife saying when she said, ooh, sexy. Of course I was getting this one. Of course I was getting this one. After she said that, I mean, I had her already hooked. Uh, I might get a little bit tight. I maybe need to get another few hangers. Maybe let me do that. Uh, because then I'll show you my last touch jersey. And I will see you in just a sec. So, I have to rehang my favorite Dodge jersey that I have. It's the 2014 one. It hangs here on, on the wall. I see, it every, I see it every day, multiple times. It's this crest and this is the one time. I don't know why on the blue jersey they did it for two, two, three, four. They had the orange on the blue. And ever since they never had white and orange again or blue they had once blue and orange but it never came as beautiful as this and i would like to have at least one more with this uh but you know time will come i'm sure they will go back to a design that i like a whole lot more a very special shirt is of course my northern macedonia one with nestorovsky on the back that was a shirt I needed to get for the Euros. I don't really mind. This was a gift from my brother a few years ago. Norway, 98 home shirt. So I'm covered with Norway. They had a beautiful one. Uh, under Nike, I think in 2018 they had a few nice under Umbro, but I have to say it still takes the cake for me. This is this is one of my favorite Nike uh, uh, Norway shirts. Then P Poland, this is my only Polish shirt from year 2008. Again, I really like their current line. Uh, there were a few nice ones as of late. However, that's the one I have. So, so be it if Poland should qualify. I may go for a new one. Uh, P is also Portugal, where I desperately need an away jersey. I have this very nice home jersey. That was my first one that I bought in 2016 after I become European champions. I said, I think it's final time I get a Portugal shirt. So here you go. And then a year later. Sale in the local mall for half price. They were already European champions. That's a Euro winning jersey. So, got this one too. Uh, I do like the 2012 a bit better. How about this one wears a little bit nicer? I gotta say. Then, of course, we have PQ. We don't have anything yet. Russia for R. I actually did not buy a Qatar jersey. Re recently, I hit myself a little bit for it. I didn't do it because of double, double, double XL. And I thought for the next World Cup I would like to have, have and probably have half to get the current one, which I'm not very happy. That Russia jersey from Euro 2008, beauty. Now, I showed it a Norway shirt. I have an equal beauty and this one, well, I'm so happy that I got this last year. This Scotland shirt is just awesome. This is probably still my favorite Scotland shirt. Together with the 9996 one, this was a great period for Scotland jerseys. I have to say, this is an absolute beauty. Maybe the color is a little bit off because it always tends to fold up. That's the one thing I don't like with this one. Um, another beauty is this Slovakia one that I got for also for Christmas. The 
very, very nice shirt. I, have I like this one better than the uh, corresponding white one. And we have to open another package. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven left. Ah! I don't have enough hangers. I'm getting a crisis right here. I'm, I'm going into crisis mode. <laughs> I think I have one more here, but that was actually Valevsky. I need to go to Ikea and get more hangers. I need to get to Ikea and get more hangers. That's not... That's not good. I did not count right. I'm a statistician. In any case, well, at least I can rehang here now every shirt that I have and then we'll think about what I'm gonna do with other shirts that I have. Hanging. So as we have Spain, that's my first Spain shirt. I wore it at the 2006 World Cup because I had tickets for the group games for Spain. Of course I have my number on there, my name and number. Stupid me. I so much wish I would have gotten a proper player, but you know back, back then I thought oh they don't have many pro proper players. Well, two years later they were all superstars. Yeah, replacement fake. Fake replacement because I had a fake from Torres, which I always thought for a long time it was real. No, this is the real one. This actually fits nicely. The Torres one, I looked like a sausage in there. Now comes the nicest shirt from the 20, the other nicest shirt from the 2010 World Cup. Did a whole lot better than the France jersey. And I have everything Yesta, not a star here. So that's the that's the one minus the uh, patches that he scored the winner in that final. In, so very happy with this shirt it's my favorite this is my favorite Spain jersey everything about this is just perfect this is definitely among the top five jerseys in my collection that I have and I have a number a name name names and number also on the 2012 home which I really wanted to have because my wife has it too now I have it with number sheet she doesn't but if you ever would go to gold to Spain game, we can wear the same jersey, which I think is really nice and probably a little bit cute as well. So, Sweden. That's the 2002, which I bought for five euro, euros. Only oh, the second ever shirt I bought from this used jersey page. Welcome to your new hanger. Then we have another Sweden. This is my first Sweden jersey, Euro 2008. Got it for half price because they were already eliminated when I bought it. Ta-ta! Then we go to Switzerland. I have now two. I have this wonderful. This is a great away jersey. This is probably the best Switzerland jersey since ever they had these blacky ones from the early 90s. Because other than that, they were rather boring. This is an exciting design. I want to see more of this from Switzerland. On the back, because that's the only way I could get it from classic football shirts back when the UK was still with Brexit, and then very re recently I got a home shirt as well. I never liked that. This is just, uh, just a flag, put in the round, it looks much better. But at least this is a somewhat exciting design with all these country lines. These jerseys from the 2018 Puma range were very nice, it, it, it has a very cloth like material. I really like the feel of these. Uh, but you may want to get it a size may it they not tight hard hanging but um, it could be a little bit um, they're a teeny bit tight so we have turkey honestly best turkey shirt in the past ever since it's a fall is my favorite turkey shirt uh, has been featured also in what was the name you know, they, they made a magazine and they asked me and I said, I'm going to take this Turkish shirt because it's so beautiful. Um, two more to go. We have you, Ukraine. I have the 98, 9, 99 one. Fun fact, Austria wore the same design, but in 97, in the run-up to the World Cup, this was a time when Ukraine was always a uh, cycle behind in their Puma templates which I found very, very interesting. But this is a beautiful shirt. And I think I got this one for 12 plus shipping. And the classic football shirts, they were selling the same one for, I think 90, if not a hundred pounds. So still, 
I don't want to say steal of the century, but very good uh, price. And then the final one, my only Wales shirt, not exciting, but at least it's a classic looking Wales jersey. So I have all the national teams now on the same hooks, but I'm running out of hangers. That is not good. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me, let me know what you thought about all these shirts here. Um, and yeah, if you have any other suggestions, I would be happy to hear. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.